Hello basketball coaches and basketball players, today I'm going to show you a fantastic horns basketball play that the Chinese women's national team uses. So they used this a little while ago, but not very too, not very long ago, Any, but anyways, this is the play. First, we're going to have player 5 pop out and player 1 is going to pass player 5 the ball. At this time, player 1 and 5 are going to do a dribble handoff and one is going to continue to dribble just a bit before the free throw line extended. Now we're going to have player 4 set a screen on player 5 who will use that screen and player 1 is going to do a pass over to player 5 who could shoot the ball. Or what could happen is player 4 is now able to back down their man and they may be able to be open in the post for that nice easy layup. Now let's throw this against some defensive plays after the video that you're about to see so that we know how it works against what kind of defense. Okay, so here we have a 2-3 defense. 2 is going to pop up against player 1, and same as player 1. They're going to be popping up, and 1 or one is going to be kind of shading 5, 2 is going to be shading 4, and 5 is going to be kind of shading that area as well so that they can kind of pick off the ball so they're kind of lightly playing defense on player 1. So first we're going to have player 5 pop out, and that's where player 1 is going to pass him the ball. 1 is going to go over, and 2 is going to be guarding player 1. 3 is going to be most likely coming up to guard player 4 or at least close to it because his zone is roughly around there. So now we have 5 kind of shading over. This is now their 2-3. Now player 1 is going to come over. 2 is going to kind of come over but his zone ends right about there. Now this will be a dribble handoff. At this time we're going to have player 4 pop up and he's going to shade or screen player 2. 5 is going to use that, and 1 is going to pass over to player 5. This is going to be a wide open shot, and player 4 is able to post up that man, and may be open to be able to drive towards the basket and leave him wide open because 3 would fade in play help defense. So if that was to happen, kick out in 3. So now let's see if it'll work against a 3-2 defense. This will be roughly what a 3-2 defense will look like. And very tight, very close in, because, well, there's a lot of close players right there on offense. So we're going to have player 4 pop out. He has to make sure he goes in front of that defensive player. You don't want to go behind, because that's just giving him the ability to block you out from the pass. So you want to go in front. 4 is going to pass, or 1 is going to pass for the ball. 1 is going to get that ball back from the dribble handoff. And 5 is going to set a screen on player 1. 4 is going to use that screen, but... Now we have player 3 able to pick off that pass and go in for that layup. So this play will not work against the 3-2 all that well. However, it will work against the 2-3 zone quite well. I would say that this offense is best against a man-to-man -man defense and a 2-3 zone defense. I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit that like button and uh, subscribe if you haven't already because we make these videos every single day. Anyways, I will see you guys next time.